you can see it's daytime here. It's not even nighttime, man. I'm picking up Canada. Uh, for Niagara region. Well, here we are. And Windsor, Windsor Essex, Essex County. They all say they think that the government, the Ford government, should get back to masking. I don't think that's going to happen. I just picked up a Panasonic RF433 FM AM headphone receiver, no speaker, dating from 1985. A nice, beefy AM medium wave antenna. Looks like it's got three sections there. Um, the modern portables like the Ratekas, this one's about three millimeters thick. And this guy from 1985 on the Panasonic Taiwan is five millimeters approximately. Now this 1966 GE eight transistor radio has even a beefier ferrite bar. Check that out. That's about six millimeters and it's a little longer as well. I did a previous video on this one um, featuring that metal reed speaker. You can see right in there, that thin metal reed and troubleshooting that speaker. So check out that video. I'll put up a card here, but this thing can blast out volume with that external speaker hooked up to the headphone jack here. I'm having some trouble with the reed speaker, but please check out that video. I'd appreciate it. This is an AM radio. Just coming back to it for a sec. You can see how much simpler it is. I think maybe that one is a FM coil. This one here is labeled L5 as an inductor. So I'm guessing that's an oscillator. Oscillator coil adjacent to the variable capacitor. Tuning mechanism. Very smooth. This radio is actually in pretty good shape. Is that the FM antenna right there in the corner? I'm wondering if that's the FM antenna because um, this Panasonic does not have an external uh, whip antenna. However, sometimes the earbuds, um, earphones work as the antenna. For example, on this Ratekas, the um, headphones, earphones work as the antenna and the AM ferrite bar coil is right there through the plastic. What's interesting comparing the Panasonic from 85, you know, and, and the GE from 66 and the modern one is that that's all digital signal processing. Very, very bare bones um, situation there. This has zero digital signal processing, all analog components. What I like about the 1985 model here, it seems to me that this is really a hybrid of digital signal processing and analog components. There's even on this one, what's interesting, a variable, let me find it here, a variable resistor, which I don't really think I've seen too many of these around, variable resistors can change the current and voltage in a circuit. See that, the 103? That is a ceramic FM filter. Notice the red dot. Perhaps uh, though someone could offer in the comments why we have the red dot there, as well as, let me point out some of these black dots on some of these capacitors. See these black dots here? They're not on all the capacitors. They're on all the green capacitors anyway. So let's go over some of these ICs, ICs in here now. Now IC1, I couldn't get all the numbers off that in there, but I was able to ascertain a TA73. I believe this is an FM input stage IC chip, would be IC1. And then moving to IC2, that's this one right here marked IC2. And that is an AM mixer slash oscillator, as well as an AM FM 
intermediate frequency amplifier and detector. So I'm guessing that this board does not have a detector um, or rectifier diode in it for AM because I, I think it, I think that's what this chip does. I see three and this BA1360 is an FM multiplex stereo dec decoder. So this separates the left and right um, stereo channels on FM. And right adjacent to this multiplex decoder is a very curious capacitor. This is a polyestrine film uh, capacitor. And these capacitors are very temperature stable and have very low distortion. I would imagine that there's something in this part of the circuit maybe that heat may play an issue. This one labeled here, CF, I believe that stands for crystal filter perhaps? CF folks, and look at that, how it's wax potted to this adjoining C24 capacitor. A crystal filter. Let's see around the back side. I don't have a schematic for this. Hmm. Does that trace go to... I think that goes to this coil in here. People might be able to lend some insight on that. Thanks for tuning in, friends. Please post your comments below. It would be great to have you as a subscriber to my channel. And if you've been around returning visitor, thanks for uh, checking in.